Welcome to Readability. I'm your host, Ashley Kelson. In Readability, we read all kinds of stories, from short storybooks to large chapter books. You could sit down with family or just lay back and relax. Every Saturday, we read, review, and recommend different books for your listening pleasure. I really hope you enjoy Readability. Let's get started. Hello everyone, it's Ashley, your host here on Reability. Today, we are going to be doing a, another review on a book I haven't read in a while, but I still wanted to do a review on it. Save Me a Seat by Sarah Weeks and Gita Vardarajan. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm really, really sorry if I pronounced her last name wrong. It's kind of complicated for me. Anyway, <laughs> this book was pretty heartwarming and I wanted to share it with you all. Also, I hope you enjoyed the episode I did with Emma on The Sea of Monsters. I just wanted to thank her so much for joining me. It was really fun. Alrighty, without further ado, let's get on to the review. Save Me a Seat is a story of two kids, Joe and Ravi, and they're very diverse from one another. Joe has been born and raised in New York, and he's from America and has a pretty normal life except for some things. Joe has trouble in school and has a bully in the class, Dylan Samreen. I think that's how you say his last name. It's worse that Dylan makes fun of Joe that his mom works at the school and it's very rude. Ravi has it a little different. After moving straight from India to New York, America is a bit confusing for him. He has to learn how things work, what to do, and how to fit in. The things these two have in common are pretty interesting. Yes, they both need to fit in, but they also have one enemy, Dylan. The bully. (laughs) You watch as these two characters come together and become better friends, spite their differences. Sarah and Gita do this double perspective novel very well, giving their own idea of what the characters think of others. They both make the story a great lesson about friendship and being kind to others, and it was a great read and good for younger readers to understand what the message they made. The book has 240 pages, there are 49 chapters, And I am not sure if this book has won any awards. The authors of this book are Gita Vardarajan, sorry for pronouncing her last name wrong, and Sarah Weeks. And the publishing brand is Scholastic Inc. It's time to rate. From what I remember from this book, it shared a lot of different views and things from very different people, Ravi and Joe. It was very diverse and explained things that others from different parts of the world may not know. I myself learned a lot about Indian culture from Ravi and life in Joe's life. (laughs) This book could be a bit unrealistic at times, but it was a pretty decent book. As always, I know this seems like a very low rating, but trust me, it's not. It's just, yeah. 3.5 stars is on the verge of 4, and 4 means I love the book a lot. For Save Me a Sea, in my opinion, I enjoyed the book and liked it. I didn't love it, though. The story was pretty nice to read about, and overall, it was pretty good. I feel like 2.5 and 3 are too low, and 4 is possibly too high. So, I'm going to give it 3.5 stars out of 5. It's a great book. No joke on that. Um, I may read again, but I didn't feel as much love to it as other books I've read before. After giving the book a rating, we have to see if I were to recommend it. The straight answer, sure. If the person I'm recommending it to likes these kinds of books, I would think the novel would be perfect fit for them. It has some humor in it, the ending is pretty happy, spoiler alert, I guess. You can relate to some of the characters, and you can learn about different cultures. I think this is a good book to recommend for people, just for a quick read. Alrighty, character thoughts. We don't have too many characters to go off of, but I'll explain a few. We have the teachers, Mr. Brown, Joe's fourth grade teacher. He was really only mentioned, that was it. Uh, Mrs. Beam, the fifth grade teacher Ravi and Joe have. Uh, Mrs. Beam has some trouble getting to know Robbie, but they get over it in the end. And Miss Frost, she helps Joe with his auditory processing disorder he has, APD, and is very kind. 
Then we have our main-ish three, Dylan, Ravi, and Joe. Definitely Ravi and Joe, but Dylan is, you know, kind of in there. <laughs> Out of them all, Joe is probably the one that I relate with the most, kind of, except for the fact that he's tall. I can't relate. But, um, he'll have to be my favorite character. I also enjoy Ravi, but I'm going to have to say Joe, I guess. But, I very much dislike Dylan. But of course, like every bully, I have a backstory, but no, I still don't like him. Thank you, everyone, for listening to this week's podcast. I really appreciate it so much. I hope you guys are going to think about checking out Save Me a Seat, because it's pretty good. Anyway, folks, here is our official readability ending. Thank you for joining me, your host, Ashley Kelson, on Readability. It has been a really great time, and I hope you join me again next week. Remember, every Saturday we either read, review, or recommend a book for your listening pleasure. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Keep reading, folks. Bye!